about this guy everything this is the coldest brother the world famous cb career bozo right oh. the world famous career bozo have you been to cork and hall look at that look at that drip look at that drip i don't even spell cork have you wrestled in the tokyo dome no they're afraid of me over there because this no man has this man has won in I'm those on. places let's I'm take it to the cruise for our introduction his opponent wrestling out of trent new jersey weighing 148 pounds World famous C B. They know me as the world famous C B. Eleven years with Ring of Honor. Eleven years putting my blood, sweat, and tears into this company. You took a 17-year-old kid and made him into the man he is today. Eleven years. I've been chasing your shadow. I can't get to the heights that I know I can reach unless, unless I beat you. 
Nobody said it's easy. I'm not holding back. I remember everything you taught me. I remember those long nights at the dojo. Bleeding! Bruised! Battered! I remember. Tonight, the student surpasses the past. And Delirious, who's a very difficult man to read, he's a very difficult man to communicate with, we do know that he, he sees a lot of ways CB, like almost like a son. And I know that relationship. In, in my preparation, in my, what, what is on top of Cheeseburger's head? Does he have a sponge there? What is that? Did he, what is it? I mean, I, I understand he's a sponge for knowledge, but uh, I didn't know he was going to put it on his head. Oh, maybe it's the cheese for the cheeseburger. Is Code that what it is? Honor. Come on. Come on, man. Code of the honor adhered to. Oh, yeah, real uh, honor. He turned his back on him. A big match for both men. This means the world. Okay, anytime a trainer turns his back on a student, is letting him know that you're going to get the real me. Delirious. You can tell that this is a special match for him. The bell did not make him go crazy, did not yeah. make him go wild like it normally would. That's what I'm saying, that, that, that turn in the back is like, you're getting everything I've got. As you guys know, I prep hard for this commentary job, seeing the work that you two do. And uh, I had some good conversation with Delirious in the back. He actually told me the cheeseburger was one of the most uncoachable people he's oh, ever give had. Me a break. Uh, he spent the first six weeks doing nothing but burpees because the kid couldn't listen and he would just throw up and cry every day. That's what I heard. He do a wrist lock here. What Delirious told how, me. Earlier. How did he say that? Uh, we spoke in the locker room. Well, okay. It's changing of wrist locks here. Both men very technical sound, and it's interesting to me because. Delirious certainly has the advantage of how often do you think he washes those feet? Of CB maybe knowing everything he knows from Delirious, but Delirious not teaching CB everything that Delirious knows. Yeah, well, you know that but the, the, the CB is also has his own training school now. World famous dojo. Not one good student out of there. Not one. Yes, very Vita Von Star. Are you kidding you, me right you, now? Have you asked Vita Von Star, Eli? I, I don't talk that. to Vita Von Star. That lady freaks me out. Wrist lock here. There you see a beautiful arm drag by Delirious and not backing down. We call that pressing the issue in pro wrestling. He kind of got the advantage and pressed the issue up there on that career bozo. And what's interesting to me is that you talked about the Worldwide Dojo. Yeah. For fans that might not know, the Worldwide Dojo was the original location of the, of the original yes. Ring of Honor Dojo. Yeah. That's where CM Punk trained students. That's where Brian Danielson, Austin Aries yeah. trained students. And that's where Delirious trained students as well. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it was around 2010 yeah. where a 17-year-old CB walked in to that dojo and, and wanted to become a pro wrestler about half the size he currently is. And Delirious didn't turn him away. He saw someone that was special, that had potential, and that he knew could be a star. Yeah, we needed somebody to clean the ring. Oh, come on. Oh, oh you know sorry. what? They needed somebody to clean the ring, and if they did it, that cheeseburger did that. If they needed somebody to put up the ring, cheeseburger did that. If they needed somebody to drive the truck, cheeseburger did that. And then he became the head of production crew for the ring and for cleaning up and continued to wrestle. Yeah, cheeseburger did that. All right, so cheeseburger worked hard to get here. Great, you work hard. It's pro wrestling. Everybody works hard. Oh, look at this. Cheeseburger, honorary member of Team 2000 in New Japan. Off the ropes. Wish you would have stayed in 2000. Pop up. Oh, look at that great Mexican style arm drag. Were you ever an honorary of anything? Anything honored? Anybody? Was anybody ever honored oh. to have you on anything? Oh, and look at that. Honored to have you here. Did right? you see the misdirection on Delirious using using a bit of his own playbook there? What a sissy. That is rope break number one used by Delirious. What a sissy. And I was caught up a little bit in the emotion of this match. Let's quickly remind the, the viewers and the fans what the pure rules are. You get three rope breaks, Brian Johnson. You are the number one contender, the number one challenger. You get three rope breaks. If you exhaust them or use them, you can be pinned or submitted in, on, or under the ropes. Wow. One closed fist. A second will result in a disqualification. Delirious going to the rope breaks for a second time. But here's the deal. He went for a handshake. Is he tick on his feet? <laughs> he went for a handshake. That is rope break number two used by Delirious. And I thought Delirious was going to do anything, but, but, but Cheeseburger was the one that took the handshake and took advantage of it. You know, as the future represent, uh, future Ring of Honor pure champion, uh, I hate the fact that these two are representing our division at week by week right oh. now. So I hope it's like a double knockout is my, my preference of the win here. 
Well, we'll go to the judges and make an excellent point. Thank you for reminding me. If it goes to a draw, a time limit draw, it goes to the three judges, Gary Jester, Will Ferrara, Sumi Sakai. Who gave Gary Jester a vote? Well, that guy's never voted on anything important, and everything he's had has probably done a poor job of it. Have you watched WCW? <laughs> yeah, and where are they at right now? It doesn't okay, matter. It's gentlemen. where okay. he comes from. Yeah. It's, 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 and look at this. Delirious it's the experience. Bringing CB back up to his feet with a game plan in mind here. And not strangers to one another in pure competition. We talked about their successful tag teaming in both the United States and Japan. Ooh, one's team with Liger to defeat Bullet Club. Delirious is trying that short arm scissor lock. I will give CB this. He is a educated professional wrestler, and he is able to counter things that you wouldn't expect all the time that he can do. He was able to counter that that short arm there from from Delirious, and uh, it does sometimes catch us by surprise that he's able to do some of the things he can do. I will give him that. The hardest thing I think about CB is trying to lock CB in a hold. With him being built strange, you yeah, think he's so you have greasy him. like a cheeseburger. Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. Thanks, Caprice. That was great. Well, let's focus on the short arm scissor a bit, because that's the first hold that Delirious would train his students with. Yep. That's the first submission hold. That's part of the curriculum. Oh! oh my you know goodness. the first thing PJ Black taught me was how to take deep breaths when you're angry? Uh, and then other than that, he didn't really teach me much until I beat him one, two, three. Shot to the midsection here. CB coming back, back to his feet. Shot fired across the jaw of Delirious. I say PJ Black changed your life, man. Oh, oh nice high sweep. Oh, that was nice. This that, could be it. That, that was an intentional high sweep. CB, a known quitter. Oh, definitely, at, definitely probably going to give up. Look at that, the oh. double wrist lock, the, the wrist lock on himself to trap the leg in the half crab. That's CB's first riff. That is rope break yep. number one used by a world famous CB. First rope break. Do you think Delirious counts in Roman numerals, or how does that work? I don't know, but he has two rope breaks. Delirious on the outside. What if I'd say he exposes the apron and pile drives him? We get some grated cheese. Oh my goodness. Shot fired. Forearm there. Oh, big open hand. And these two have known each other for over, over a decade. I can't believe he's still friends with CB, known him for over a decade. I met him for 10 minutes and couldn't stand him. Shot to the midsection there. That's the way I feel. Never mind. About Ian? I won't yeah, tell him. I sure. won't tell him. Oh! And oh, Brian nice. Johnson, you get your wish! Wow, well, I mean, if his bat's broken, I'd be a lot happier. Sending CB now into the ring. It covers him. Quick cover right in the center. Two! It's amazing. He was able to do that in pure match, and it was not breaking the rule, but that's definitely the hardest part of the ring. He hit that spine first. Also not illegal in pure rules, ripping up the outside padding and piler driving someone on concrete. Also not illegal if it happens, just saying. It, oh, in theory. It's, you've, you've never thought about this, I can well, tell. No, I, I told you I had a conversation with Delirious today, and he was saying some Delirious things, so I assume that was his plan of attack. Delirious, I, you just said you had a conversation with him, and he gave you a game plan, but now you're saying he said Delirious things. And look at this burger trying to get out of Delirious's fireman's carry. And that's got to be a rope break. Yeah. That is rope break number two used by world famous CD. Both men with two rope breaks. If you get to a third, you can be pinned or submitted on in underneath between the ropes. Ironic, it's called a fireman's carry. Most firemen that I know are pretty sissy. They're like girly arm. Oh come right? on. Jose really really Edwards is a fireman. <laughs> that's my point. Yeah. Standing switch, high angle take down there. I really hope he's watching this match. Not letting go. You make a lot of enemies just by calling one match, Brian. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Back elbow. Go accomplished, I guess. I'd like to see you do a fireman's physical. Oh, look at that. Forearm square oh, across the was, jaw. Man, if Delirious had trouble speaking English before, that's not going to help, that's for sure. Yes. It's the hardest CB. Front face lock here. He likes that snap suplex, but Delirious knows that as well. And he knows the back is hurt. Yeah. From that apron. Yeah. He's sagging there. I once uh, took a fall on the apron uh, myself, injured my tailbone. Luckily, I was able to fight through it because, you know, I, I'm miraculous in my hearing abilities, but uh, it is one of the hardest parts of the ring. And yeah. Berger finds the strength wow. and the power to fight through. Suplexing so Delirious. That, that took some fortitude from CB. Oh, I didn't know he had any. And the coldest brother has changed the direction of this match. 
It's a man who's like a family member to him. Like a big brother, like a father. Could you imagine this family portrait? CB and Delirious. Who else is going to show up? Grimace? Jesus. I don't think Jesus I don't know Jesus around. be in there. Wow, look at this. Looking for the Not even he could save that family. Into the corner, ramming the arm. Wow, Bulldog on the arm. You don't see that often. Yeah, he's going to pick the shoulder. And that's a page out of Delirious' playbook. If he has a hook. He is not going to let go of it. Oh, look. Yep. He's got the arm. Yeah. He's looking for the, is he looking for it here, Caprice? He's going to try to submit him right here. Maybe he's looking for the short arm scissor lock. Maybe he's looking for the Kimura stretch. That's short arm. Short arm. Oh, short yeah. Arm. He, he's short got arm. short arm. Yeah. He, he's he got laces it. that. He's got to lace it. He's got to lace the hands, the fingers. He's got it gripped. Lace the legs. It's oh, in. the it's legs in. are tight. It's in dead center. The legs are tight. Nowhere to go. Delirious is in trouble. Is he out of rope rights? He's got two. He's got, he's got two. He's got one left. But, the, but with the short arm scissors, like just like CB is doing, CB is in control. Oh, look at that. Trying to, to block the vision. Yep. And making Delirious fight out of it. Ten minutes elapsed time. Five minutes remaining. He's reset it. Oh, but he stacks. Oh. He's trying to stack him wow. up. But CB's Fighting. got an answer for everything. Yeah. But and CB yeah. stand on top of it. Delirious that trying to get close it. to the ropes. On, yeah, there Delirious you go. has to go to the ropes here. I really thought he had him there. I, I hope they clean the ropes after that this match. His bare feet are on there. Who knows where he's been? Delirious. That's gross. Well, three rope breaks now. CB can pin or submit. Delirious yes. in on underneath between on top of the ropes. Trust and believe the damage is done to that left arm. See the wrist lock take over over the shoulder from Delirious. Here comes that pile driver on the concrete, I hope. CB to the outside. Nobody home. Setting him up. Oh. Super kick! Mm. Super what kick! What was super about that kick? Did you see the beard react? Wrist lock here. CB! Wow! I'll be honest, I don't know if I've ever seen CB do that before in my, in my entire life. Yeah, that was impressive. Constantly improving every time he comes out. Well, when you start with such a low talent uh, to start with, it's oh, very give, easy to give continue to Give me a break. Improve. CB in the driver's seat here, going to the top. And it's the coldest, oh. brother, with the double stop. Looking for a pin. Great cover. Two. Delirious with less life than you're used to seeing on that kick out. Usually he's a bat out of hell. But he couldn't sit all the way up because CB was sitting on his chest. So he had to fight his way out of that. I had that happen to me the other night. I ate too many cheeseburgers. I couldn't get up off the couch. It was terrible. And CB just stomping on the fingers, wrenching the point of movement, the elbow. Going in directions it should not naturally go. Oh, catches him in a body scissor. Push to be pressed. They're trying, to, trying to mount instead. Getting behind him, the Cobra Clutch. The Cobra Clutch in. Doesn't. Oh, now he's got it. Now he's got the fingers locked. Come on, CB. Mr. Leary's trying oh. for his finish. He's back to that arm. And CB going back to the fingers and the hand. What? Delirious finding his way out again. Over the shoulder this time. Maintains wrist control. Has him. Brain buster. Ironic, because there's no brain in CB. But it's, I guess, busted. Sends him down to the mat. Oh, great trap. Into the pin. But instead rolls through. Looking for that it's Cobra Clutch again. Yeah, it's transition. Look for the Cobra Clutch. Come and blocking on. him from the ropes, too. CB, His well, never mind, he turned it. CB was lucky to turn it. two for CB. I think it's three. I believe that's three. three. That is the oh. third and final rope break for world right. famous CB. OK. OK, OK, OK. Delirious here, taking the advantage of that rope break and then getting back to the action. I know Caprice here wasn't paying attention, so I have to pick it up for the rest of us. He has his third rope break. Commentary failing us as always. Four arms, knife edge, chops. Delivers on Delirious. Shot into the midsection there. Front face lock. Charging in. Nobody home. Drop toe hold. Delirious corner. Knees to corner. See, if that was me, I would have exposed a buckle before CB came in. Yes. Nothing against exposing a buckle to my knowledge. Oh, inside. Plants him down. 
One, two, and just a two count there. Wow. Both men out of rope breaks at this point. They can be pinned anywhere inside of the ring. Delirious has pinned so many people with that. Just see, he's going right back to that Cobra clutch. Certainly is, that arm trapped, arm one locked. One minute remaining. We're down to one minute in this bout. If it goes to a draw, it goes to the judges. Gary Juster, Sumi Sakai, Will Farrar. Oh, there it is! So Gary Juster, you need to wake up. Cobra Hello. clutch Someone suplex. Someone shake Gary. Look at his arm, CB's right arm. His left arm is dead. Oh, CB though, dragon I suplex. I have seen that coming. Oh, who would kick their trainer in the face? I would never do something like that. Yep. Dragon suplex again. Look at Delirious. Delirious firing back. We are under a minute. We're under yep. a minute here. A third oh, wow. dragon suplex. Shock Tay! Look at the way he collapsed. That's Shock right Tay collapses. That's Delirious. It. Oh, he kicks out. Transition. Oh, no. Delirious kicks out. CB. I need to do this. A whole, I need to do this. Don't explain it. Take just do it. Out. Oh man, the symbolism there. Short arm The Simmer. symbolism there, looking them That's down it. and putting them to sleep. That was powerful. Jeez. I always thought the power coming from this I ring was Delirious' in. feet, but it must have been that moment. Oh my gosh. CB. World famous CB. He's been unsuccessful in his attempts to defeat the man that brought him into pro wrestling in the past. Oh, I thought you were going to say defeat in illiteracy. But CB using the hold, the very first hold that the man for all, who for all intents and purposes brought him into this world, into professional wrestling, taught him and bestowed upon him for a victory in the pure division. I can't imagine a re Ring of Honor reimagined without either of these men. These men have meant a lot to me. I've, I've traveled with both men through the years. CB opened doors here for me. That's ironic, because I've done nothing but imagine Ring of Honor without both of these guys the entire time I've been here. Delirious has been a man who's bestowed a lot of opportunity upon myself. Sometimes you try your whole life to live up Nobody to, said it's easy. to be one-on-one -on -one with your trainer and to get a win over your trainer, man, you somebody that you respect. You can see in his eyes right there how much respect he has uh, for Delirious. He said, I had to do this. That's respect right there. Delirious. Taking it. Oh man, what's he doing? I'm this is it? Yeah. Wow. If you see the buff teeth on one, this guy. That's respect. Wow. Give him his mask. Delirious. Oh my God. Bestowing his mask to CB. Congratulations to CB. That's a gift. Well, yeah, it's a gift that we put a shirt over Delirious' face, so we would have lost any fan we've ever had. What a match we've just seen. More than a match, more than a, a battle for Brian Johnson, Caprice Coleman, I'm Ian Kapani. Happy wrestling. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully CB starts running. Right He's really ugly. Jeez. Nobody said it's easy. I'm all. I'm the world famous CB. I 